Welcome to Opto TV. Welcome to the first web channel for ophthalmology and optometry in Southeast and Middle East. We are very glad today to have as a guest the Vice President of International Sale, Mr. Bill Schiltz. Bill, welcome to us. Welcome to Opto TV. Thank you, Christos. It's an honor to be here. It's good to be in Greece, and I look forward to the opportunity of being the first guest in Opto TV and the ability to discuss uh, diopsis and what we have to offer. So, Mr. Siltz, let's start our discussion. It's very interesting to know more about diopsis. What is doing diopsis, really? Uh, Christos, diopsis is the world-leading provider of modern visual electrophysiology solutions. We help eye care professionals quickly, easily, and objectively measure retinal and visual pathway function. Diopsis offers solutions for both eye care professionals who may be unfamiliar with the science behind visual electrophysiology and its everyday use, as well as doctors experienced in electrophysiology. I would like to know where is the company located and where do you sell your products? Uh, Diopsis is a US-based company. We're located in Pinebrook, New Jersey. Our products are developed and manufactured in the US. We currently have over 2,500 units installed worldwide, and we sell in over 30 countries throughout all the regions of the world. How is Diopsis visual electrophysiology different from the competition? Uh, our focus is providing solutions for challenges that eye care specialists face every day. We focus on ERG and VEP vision tests that provide clear, objective functional results to help with early diagnosis and improved patient management. Our tests are quick and easy for the technician to administer, very comfortable for the patient to take, and provide great clinical value to the eye specialist using color-coded intuitive reports. And of course, I want to know more because how does how has diopsis make electrophysiology more applicable to today's practice? Well, Christos, over 20 years ago, visual electrophysiology was used mostly by academics outside of the eye care professional's office solely for research purposes. The technology was expensive, difficult to use, and required the use of invasive sensors that was less than ideal for the patients. Diopsis was the first to take that technology pair it with fast personal computers, and make a product user-friendly enough for both patients and physicians so that it can be used every day in a clinic or a private practice. For example, we have patented lid sensors that sit comfortably just beneath the patient's lower lashes, which provides equivalent data to those sensors which used to require contact with the cornea. Additionally, we've partnered with leading eye care institutions to develop documented reference ranges for our results, which means our reports are color-coded and much easier to understand than results from older technology. Finally, we've perfected the training and education process to include everything technicians and doctors must know in order to integrate the technology into the practice. We have multiple supporting documents as well as educational webinars and videos to get users up to speed quickly. I am an eye care specialist. Why would I integrate diapsis in my practice? For which reason? Well, there are many benefits to both the patient and the specialist using diapsis vision tests. Specifically, different types of electroretinography can help in the early detection of things like glaucoma and diabetic eye disease. There was one study out of Baskin Palmer Eye Institute that showed pattern ERG could detect glaucoma up to eight years sooner than OCT. That is quite a lot of time to help preserve a patient's vision. Other types of electroretinography are useful in tracking disease progression and treatment success in diseases like diabetic retinopathy, CRVO, and uveitis. Recent research published in the Journal of Diabetes Science and Technology shows that the diopsis flicker test is highly reproducible and parameters are found to correlate with the ischemic index. As a result, global retinal dysfunction may be reliably quantified in patients with diabetes and also used to monitor retinopathy progression. 
The authors also noted the results could help doctors decide when to start anti-VEGF therapy in eyes with mild to moderate NPDR, as well as when to extend the treatment interval and eventually discontinue treatment. I, I would like to understand it more. Uh, can you give me an example where diopsis is really helping a doctor to make a diagnose early? That means an early diagnose. How, how happens that? Can you give me an example? Sure. Um, as I said before, pattern ERG has shown to be a great indicator of early dysfunction due to glaucoma. We hear from doctors all the time about patients whose vision testing doesn't seem to add up to a definitive diagnosis. Do they or don't they have glaucoma? In one case, a patient had thin corneas, a cup to disc ratio in the left eye greater than 0.5, and a cup to disc ratio asymmetry between the eyes. However, OCT and visual field results did not indicate glaucomatous damage. The objective functional results from the diopsis pattern ERG showed dysfunction in that left eye. These results helped to tip the scale in favor of diagnosing and starting treatment in this glaucoma suspect. It looks like you answered my next question because my next question is, can you to, to know better how it helps a doctor to take decision about a treatment? That means to help him which treatment to choose. Sure. Um, we work with a retina specialist named John Robleski, who spoke with us about a patient he diagnosed with central retinal vein occlusion. To treat CRVO, the patient was given several anti-VEGF injections in an effort to prevent structural damage that could have led to permanent severe vision loss. Over the three-month time period, Dr. Robleski did not see any significant changes to the OCT after each injection. However, he did note improvement on the diopsis flicker ERG tests he was running. That indicated that the injections were improving the patient's retinal function. After the third injection, Dr. Robleski noticed a stabilization in function and was able to confidently stop the injections. Without the diopsis flicker ERG results, he would not have been able to confidently make the same decision. Uh Everything looks great and looks very fine, but if I were now an eye care professional or eye care specialist, I would like to ask you, is it something else that I have to know beside all this? Uh, just that modern visual electrophysiology is so much more useful than they may remember. Diopsis has made visual electrophysiology fast, easy, and reliable for the practice environment. Our vision testing provides objective functional data to help with early detection, tracking progression, and tailoring treatment for more precise disease management. Our technology is a powerful tool that is applicable across a broad range of eye diseases, including diabetic retinopathy, glaucoma, optic neuritis, retinal toxicities, CRVO and uveitis, and also retinal concerns obscured by media, say uh, pre-cataract screenings. It was a great and very interesting interview today with the Vice President of Diopsis, Mr. Bill Silitz. We have discussed about the innovative electrophysiology of NOVA and how that makes the life of ophthalmologists easier in everyday practice. Mr. Silitz, it was a pleasure having you here today. Thanks, Christos. It was a pleasure to be here as well in introducing Diopsis and how we can help physicians around the world enhance their eye care. Thank you very much and I look forward to the opportunity to come back. Thank you once more that you were with us at OptoTV today. See you next time.